Chick Shot game for the iOS platform. I'm Austin Enfield, and this is Morgan Weir. We're going to tell you just a little bit about it. Hey, beginning. We had an interesting set of specifications to work with. Uh, since we are developing on the iOS, and what we, our previous documentation was all for the Android operating system, uh, we had quite the task ahead of us. It's not just moving platforms, it is translating to an entirely new language and making sure all of that grammar is correct. Uh, so basically what we are doing is we are taking this board game developed by Aziz Makani Kang Shot and all of its uh, various rules, components, here we'll get a little demo out going, and uh, nuances onto a small iOS platform with, for a board this big, I'll get a better look at in a little bit, onto a device that can be about yay big. Um, let's see, what else do we have? Apple-based platform is possibly the biggest challenge that we've actually encountered in this project. Neither of us actually um, has an iMac or any of those operating systems. So, uh, seeing that iOS software must be developed on a, uh, an Apple system, we had to find a way to mimic that environment so that we could actually begin working. We decided that VMware would be <laughs> less of a cost burden to us than um, actually buying an iMac would be, so we decided to go with that. It's, it's a little slow, but it works. Um, especially with uh, having a very, very small budget, which at this point was nothing, but that's, that's fine. We worked it out. We actually got a good amount of progress. Okay. Basically, here's what we're looking at for our concept design, which I was saying we would get a better look at. Here's our board. Um, this is actually a screenshot from the uh, previous semester's Android project. Uh, well, this is our concept that we were given to work with. Uh, we're, we're looking currently at having cards. This, again, is another system about yay big. Uh, <laughs> cards have to be visible, readable. You need to be able to see what you're rolling for your dice on the board, where you are on the board, all of those good things. And you also have to emulate things coming from all of these decks using this set of rules. and. In actually designing the software for it, um, the original Android version had a little bit of a different uh, basis, and they, they built it with a different model. And when I, I looked through that, and I had to change a lot of it due to the fact that the framework that the iOS is built on through the SDK, their software development package, is very different than the, the Android development package. And, and so, uh, Many of the background, even all the bases that it's built upon, had to be changed. Ended up going with with a, a sort of a model view controller model, with the uh, framework providing the actual view and many of the, the controller aspects for us, and with all the the, uh, the model having to be developed to essentially uh, emulate and play the game and the different aspects that go into it, and actually ended up building it sort of integrating each of the normal physical components as a separate class that would all interact together, being that the game you know, was one class that control all the rules, kept track of the score, and you would have player classes for each player, so you could have multiple players, you know, you could have two or four player game, continue on from that, and then you would have a, a deck and a set of cards where it would each be able to be passed around and used as if they were in the real game. Uh, so our final one that we came up with is actually slightly different than the Android version. Uh, we'll have a demo here in a little bit, but um, there's you know, many things are the same. It's built on the same game, it has the same set of rules, the same sort, of, same set of cards, everything you know, as the Android did. We went with a different layout that we felt you know, sort of fit the cards and the board and everything on there a little better, and so you could you didn't have things overlapping and you could have the entire thing showing at once. And the way that we thought was the easiest to sort of you know, be able to have all the components be usable and visible. Or and 
And so the, uh, we're actually going to demo now it was built using the Xcode 4.2 iOS simulator. Uh, so. No, And so this is the actual you know, initial play screen that comes up upon launching the app. And when you hit play, it brings up the board itself, a whole hand of cards that are traversed merely by swiping back and forth, and then played by the play card. So I'll give an example. If you play a pass card, it brings up uh, the rolls. Certain rolls will you know, result in turnover or something like that, such like that, which in this case happened. We will add the pitch itself changes colors to match the, what would essentially be the jerseys of each team to be able to easily tell who has possession of the ball, whether it's the home team or the away team. The, the away team has the ball there with the uh, or, orange, brown, and black stripes. And we can uh, do a shot from way too far out so you lose possession of the ball and it goes back to the home team. Back to the green and white, and sort of switches back and forth. And as of now, it merely says that you know the roles and the position of the ball are, are in a label. Eventually, it would be you know, a logo or something on the field itself that would move and have the number of the lines on the field, make it match a little better on that. And the, the game will keep track of the score and as soon as the decks are depleted to the point where there aren't, aren't enough cards to fill a full hand. It signals the end of the game, which would bring up a final screen. Just saying, you know, congratulations, player one or two wins. So, and that's our uh, presentation for now. Do we have any questions? Yeah, one question. So, was part of your goal <coughs> in doing this at all to improve on the Android game, or was it basically just to just a pure translation? Um, it's sort of this one was sort of beginning the iOS part of it because eventually they wanted to have it for Android and iOS, and since it was done in, in native for Android, so it was done in Java, using XML files and such to parse through. Um, it was partially a translation and partially a rebuild, because many of the, the constructs weren't exactly weren't scalable for the other play types, such as adding extra players in, in their design. And so we had to sort of redesign that class structure to allow it to work with the multiple this one runs the, uh, the warm-up style of game, which is two players and has a limited set of cards, and only does for one half. Um, you know, other other sets will do you know, other play types. You can have, have more cards in them to play like the beginner game, the advanced game, and such. And you can have up to you know, two, four, six players or so. And and so with the, the model that we made for this, it allows the players as a separate class to be able to just implement it. Times to be able to have more than just two players on it. 